Hey everybody, Chris here. So I was looking at one of my past videos where I had the beast in there hanging hammers, um, hanging uh, Renner Blues on this uh, lakeside upright. And uh, so I got the beast all set up, this uh, hammer hanging jig. And uh, the last video I looked at, I didn't really show it too much. So I thought in this video, I'll take it apart and show you all the parts and how it's... Uh, how it works and so we'll take a closer look at it so i have the action horizontal on this uh rotating rack this commercial rotating rack that's what that rack looks like it's a that's the neatest rack for working on upright actions it really is so i've got it apart and here's the base uh the whole purpose of this is just to raise it up so that i can use it with the hammers horizontal on my rack. So the space, uh, the main important thing of this was this part right here. This is uh, this little thin piece right here on this vertical block on the top of the base is so I can clamp the, the other part, which I'll show you in a little bit here. And it's on both sides. So that's a look at the base. And the base is just clamped to the bench. So it doesn't move, just the one clamp's necessary, that's all. Alright, so let me show you the next part. Alright, so here's the next part that goes on top of the base. Here's the bottom of it. And here's the side of it. So it's got this part right here, so that uh, you can use clamps. I use these spring clamps when I... Uh, Put it in place and it's got this horizontal block and then right here is where the bottom of the hammer sits against i've got this plastic in there because the glue won't stick to it and i can clean it up easy so i just got that front lip there and then i've got this one right here so two pieces and the hammer uh, sits right in there and then this is for the top stop and uh, so I've got another thin piece going across the top with an overhang that I can clamp to. So I'll put this back on the base. So I lift the hammers up like that. And just back it onto the bottom of the hammer. Now I just clamp this assembly to the base. And the same to the other side. And I put it on this top part, butt it up to the hammers. These are the samples. And so with the samples, I'm now I'm just going to use this to put the rest of the hammers in in each section. And I just use a couple clamps there on the top stop. And that's it. So now i got a bottom stop and a top stop. And easy to work on.